I learned that ideology is the enemy of science, even scientific ideology. I mean, I think the whole field of evolution is, is a great example of this. The neo-Darwinian modern synthesis has been ruling for decades. And there was a period not that long ago when if you public, tried to publish anything that, you know, maybe was a little off that, including some of the work that is now totally accepted, like uh, Stephen Jay Gould's work on punctuated equilibrium, even the neutral theory by Kimura, which is now absolutely baked into the basic theory, at the time it was considered heretical. And not long ago, I heard Richard Dawkins in a debate with, of all people, Lynn Margulis and Dennis Noble uh, say that epigenetics was not important in evolution. And of course, you know, that was four years ago. Now, of course, it, it's funny, right? Because epigenetics, how do you how do you dismiss epigenetics, right? So there's a there is a there is a trend that's growing. And as I said before, it's not just theists. In fact, I think it's largely non-theists who are seeing that it, it's not true that if you dismiss the neo-Darwinian synthesis, you're suddenly anti-science and you're a crazy creationist. It, it, it's not that kind of divide, good, bad, you know, yes, no. And that's why evolutionary theory is moving so rapidly into new directions. Yeah, you know, I saw a... Uh, anymore yeah. as to what it used to be. I, 